All right, there you go, everybody. That's the predictions for 2024. And now, as we do every year, we have to go through the predictions for 2023. This is what people predicted last year to happen, or they predicted at the end of 2022, to, to happen in 2023. Let's see what they said. And let's see who's a prognosticator and who is a fool. Carlos in Houston predicted, by the end of 2023, Apple TV will buy out the failing Peacock. Thus, WWE programming will feature on Apple TV+. Plus. Fool. Paul, who actually was Ryan in Cumberland, so he doesn't really count because he'd been banned. But he said Keon and Fallon would win the NXT Tag Team titles. He was a fool. Remains that way. Tara, former winner, predicted Takeshita and Swerve would both win the TNT title in 2023. Fool. But she could actually be a prognosticator if that had been a prediction this year. I guess we shall see. Our main man, Dagan, said the former Mandy Rose would debut for Impact Wrestling and win the Knockouts title. You know what that was? A fail. Making him a fool. Ray from Austin. Impact Wrestling will announce a new television deal for 2024, which will get them in 80 million households. Fail. If only Ray had predicted the NWA. That's a great example of reality being even stranger than a wacky prediction. Ryan from Ann Arbor. Former WWE champion Jinder Mahal will return to the main event scene and fight for the title. But he will be hindered. And not win. That was a fail. Vincent from Springfield. Hangman and FTR will beat the Elite for the trio's titles. That was a fail. Got somebody here saying, didn't, uh, didn't Kiana and uh, Fallon win the NXT tag titles together? Did they? Someone let me know. Go back through the thing. Let me know if that's uh, if he actually got that right. Oh, yes, they did. How about that? Wow, so Ryan got his prediction right. Was it bold? Well, we'll, have to, uh, we'll have to think about that one. And then we've got uh, Hangman and FTR. We did that one. Will Ospreay will beat Okada to win the G1 this year. Fail! That did not happen. Tim in Miami predicted the 2023 Royal Rumble will be won by Stone Cold Steve Austin, and he will go on to beat Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. That was a fail. Semper Vivi predicted Shane McMahon would make an appearance in AEW at some point this year. Fail. I predicted by the end of 2023, despite a tumultuous first 20 days of the year, we would all look back and say, you know what? Looked all right this year. In fact, looked pretty good. I think that is better than Ryan and Cumberland's prediction, if we're going to be honest right here. We had uh, Ulysses saying, by the end of this year, Triple H and Stephanie will be at the helm of a brand new promotion. Well, Triple H is at the helm of uh, TKO. Does that count? Stephanie, however, not involved. This person predicted that uh, now that Vince is back, he'll get back in creative, give himself the title by the end of the year. Fail. Jawan in South Jamaica, by the end of the year, Tony Khan will announce a deal worth more than half a billion dollars. Fail. Was not announced. At least one episode of SmackDown, says Philip. We'll do a higher rating than their debut on Fox, which would be over $4 million. Fail. Although SmackDown did do very, very well. They did not get up to $4 million. AJ in Bahrain said Eddie Kingston would beat MJF. It would happen in Queens at Grand Slam. But MJF would win it back from Eddie at full gear in a match with a stipulation. Fail. 
Brandon from Pittsburgh, Rhea Ripley will win the U.S. or the IC title by the end of 2023. Doing the entire China gimmick. But that was a fail. Did not happen. Dom from Garden City. Dave Meltzer will win the cluster at Joey Janela's Spring Break 7. That is a fail. Joey, I think, has wanted that for years, but I don't think that's going to happen. Brandon in Portsmouth. By the end of 2023, Roxanne will be SmackDown Women's Champion. I've been beating Charlotte for the title. Still in NXT, Brandon. Fail. Jesus predicted we will get Cody as the Rumble winner. He's going to beat Roman at WrestleMania. And then AJ will come back and put Cody over. Was it that bold, I asked? Well, apparently it was. Fail. Don the Don Rossberger. Chaos will reign supreme in the World Tag League, and they will field a team of Orange Cassidy and Toru Yano. Fail, but keep trying, brother. Mike from Queens. Cody Rhodes will, a while under a WWE contract, will appear on AEW programming. Not a clip, not a name drop, but an actual new live segment. Fail. Anthony from Jersey City. Remember this? We all thought these things would happen. Wardlow will defend the TNT title at All Out versus Goldberg. Fail. I still feel like that should have happened, but it didn't. Matthew from Cleveland. Kota Bushi will win the AW title by the end of the year. Brother, that was a fail. Let me tell you. Mike in Buffalo. Saudi Arabia will buy WWE. Eh, you were you were in the running. But Sami Zayn will then be traded for CM Punk. Fail. That did not happen. Brian and Round Rock, Jamie Hayter versus Britt Baker for the title will be the all-out main event. Fail. Jamie Hayter and Britt Baker have both vanished. Steven from Yuma. Gunther will break the honky-tonk man's record for the longest reigning intercontinental champion of all time. That is correct. Now, with the exception, see, I didn't know last night. I, I'd totally forgotten about uh, Keanu and Fallon winning those tag team titles. I thought that Steven and Yuma was the only person who got anything right. But as it turns out, Ryan and Cumberland he did predict a successful yeah, tag team title win. But I have to say that in my opinion, A, he's disqualified, and B, Gunther beating Honky's record for the longest reigning intercontinental champion of all time is a, uh, is a significantly better prediction. And I believe that he should be the winner. So I will, uh, I will put it up to a vote here, even though I'm not really. What's the chat think? Back in a moment with the winner, Observer Live. Make this clear, because I don't, I don't want any controversy here in the uh, prediction show. Even though I said that Ryan was disqualified, he did, he did successfully predict something. However, I want to make it very, very clear that he is not the loser because he was disqualified. But he's the loser because Steven from Yuma had a much, much better prediction and much bolder. Because last year, the prediction show was like January 20th or something like that. We were like three weeks into the year. And Kiana and Fallon won the titles on like February 5th or something like that. Yeah, February 5th. So they'd already been doing storylines. I mean... He made a prediction for something that happened like a week later, okay? Two weeks later. The prediction of Gunther holding the Intercontinental title, breaking the Honky Tonk Man's record. Gunther had been champion for six months when we did that show. And that would have necessitated him essentially being champion for pretty much the entire rest of the year. Through WrestleMania. Through SummerSlam. I mean, I was a huge fan of Gunther. I've always loved Gunther. But you had people saying the thing about Gunther, he can't do a promo, you know, he's boring, like he's a good worker and everything like that. But, I mean, he broke the honky-tonk man's intercontinental title record that has stood for like 32 years, Gunther. So, my vote, and I'm in charge here, 
is that Steven from Yuma, you are the champion. You are the prognosticator of the year for 2023. Email me, f4wonline at gmail.com. That is f4wonline at gmail.com. Give me all your info, and you've got a special prize headed your way, brother. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button, and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.